Good morning and welcome back to Stranded Deep. My name is Agurk. This is episode 8 of Let's Play Hard. We're playing Stranded Deep on the hard difficulty level. I've slept through the night. We're on our new island. I've got a whole bunch of stuff on the beach here. And, um, yeah, I'm just going to make sure I have food and water here. Check my farming plots. They're growing nicely. They seem to be okay with water. And what I was thinking of doing today is heading back to our other island, the island that we already kind of uh, raped of all of its resources. And I'm going to go back and get all of these sticks and palm fronds and coconuts and things that we left behind. And I'm just going to go through these crates and empty out the things that I don't need to take with me, leave them here so we have empty space on our raft in order to fill up some crates. Just going to drop these here. And I'll put the flashlight there. So check these one more time. And sorry, my memory is so bad here. I can't remember which ones I looked in already. Oh, we can take that and put it with the other air tanks up here. So we've got four air tanks. That's nice. All right, so let's go. I'm going to pull this out into the water, turn it around, and we will head to the other island. Alright, so we're pulling back into our island here. I think I'll pull all the way over to where my other crates and things are. See there's a purple starfish on the sea floor there. We want to avoid that when we go back out. There's a whole bunch of palm bunches. There's sticks, coconuts. I've got a few plants on the beach over here. There's a crate here with an engine and some fuel cans and duct tape in it. Put that back up here. And I'm going to take some of these empty ones. And yes, I know, I should know which ones of these are already empty without having to look at them, but I don't. All right, so let's drop these over here. Grab all these palm bunches. Can't seem to grab that one. Uh, oh, maybe it's attached to a log. We'll have to check that out for a second. Yep, that still has a tree trunk attached. All right, so I actually missed one. I'll have to uh, turn that into a plank, and then we can grab the palm bunch or break it apart and leave it in the water still. that out of your hand, put it in there, Just pull this over to the plank station, uh, where's the plank, there we go, one plank and a palm bunch, to find an empty spot for this, put that there, grab these sticks, This is good, we'll have a couple of crates full of sticks. So we'll a plank we can put with the other plank. Just fill up the water still while we're at it here. I'm gonna make sure we're still producing water while I'm here. Because I'm gonna need it. <laughs> Also use some food, which I think I left some behind. Yeah, we got three pieces of meat here. Perfect. Make do with two of those probably. Uh, I've got some leather here we need to pick up. 
And I want to grab all this corrugated scrap. You can use this to make more farming plots. Almost a full crate of scrap. Uh, put the leather there. Get that out of my hands again. It's got to be an easier way to get things out of your hand. I always just kind of look up and then move it out of my hand. I think there's actually a key that you can use that automatically frees up your hand. I just don't remember what it is. I don't think I've ever used it, if I did know what it was. All right, just grabbing all this stuff. We got another torch. Looks like we got three of them here. Wow. All right. I uh, don't need the rock. Let's take these coconuts. Plants in there, and the coconuts, and one motor part. These are all occupied, so can't really do much there. No, put it back. Gonna have to put something in there. Yeah, none of those matched anyway, so it didn't really matter. One free spot there. I can move the compass down to here. It frees up one spot there. Doesn't matter which one I use, I guess. Just put that one in there. And let's grab all these crates. Except for that one, because I don't have the room for it. <laughs> And we'll take it, of course, because I can never figure out how to place these darn things in here without picking them up again. Oh, did I just drop one? I think I did, actually. Oops. Let's go over here. Yep, I did. Sorry. Put that in there. All right. We've got those filled up again. All right. I should have a couple of empty crates over here somewhere. Hammers. Yep, that one's empty. And that one's empty. So we'll take those two. up one of these with coconuts. Put the engine parts in the other one. Actually, still one short. <laughs> oh god. Uh, it's always so funny with this inventory trying to get it all to fit. All right, I'm going to go around the island and I'm going to see if I can get myself a stack of fibrous leaves. Take that with me back to our other island so that we have a really good stockpile of fibrous leaves. Water is the key thing when playing in the hard difficulty level, so I'm just going to do everything I can to make sure I have plenty of fibrous leaves, plenty of palm fronds, and that I never run out of water. I think... Personally, I think it's a little bit too much. All this having to deal with water is just crazy. It doesn't really leave you a lot of time to do other stuff. So though I am enjoying this experiment, I guess you'd call it, playing on the difficulty level hard, it's just a little bit too, too much fiddling about with water all the time that I think I enjoy playing on the standard difficulty level better because you have more time to do stuff. Oh, I need to cool down. You don't have to constantly be focused on, oh, I need water, oh, I need water, oh, I need water again. It just becomes too much. And yet, speaking of water, let's get this over to the water still and get that filled up. Drop these here, take a drink. Need one more. Good job. Let's have another piece of meat. And we should probably actually catch some more fish while we're out in the water. Got to go cool off anyways. And I just ate all the food, so let's go get some more fish. And I can always just leave it on the uh, smoker and cook it up and whatnot so that when I come back next time, I'll still have food sitting there waiting for me and water sitting there waiting for me. And that's a really good way to do things. Uh, because when you're traveling around, you often you take side trips and whatnot, and 
if you get to an island and there's no food and no water, that's the first thing you have to do when you get there is you have to organize yourself and get food and get water, uh, which can be a real pain in the butt. So if it's already there, sitting there waiting for you when you get there, <laughs> perfect. Allows you to go on with other things. All right, just gonna grab a few more fish. Ooh, they shot. Spin and back up and catch a fish at the same time. Good job. All right, let's drop a couple of these. Not sure why I dropped the fibrous leaves. I meant the fish, drop the fish. Pick those back up again. And we'll need to skin these. Oh, all I've got is a uh, ax and a uh, thingy. Need to craft a new knife. Find a stick here somewhere. There we go. There we go. And get these skinned. No, it's not. It's not disgusting. It's what's keeping you alive. Come on. All right, let's fire these on here. Get the kindling going. Oops, I don't have any wood. Back to the crate. Hey, I remembered where it was this time. Pretty impressive. I know, I know. Thank you. Put that in there. Two pieces should be plenty. Let's get this going. Oh. <laughs> and there's a knife sitting right next to the fire there. I didn't even see that. Oh, well. Oh, that was the one that only had like 1% durability anyways, so no worry. I needed to build a new one anyways. All right, need a bit of water. Let's get this filled up again. I've only been here for half a day and I've filled that thing a couple of times already. This is nuts. All right, so I've still got room in there for my fibrous leaves. Let's uh, drop a whole stack in here. Gives me four extra, so let's plunk them over by the water still. these boxes onto the container shelves and just making sure these are all full oh there's one empty one there can put some more coconuts in here and what else can I put in the last stack I don't really have anything else to take with me though so oh well we'll just take four more coconuts all right another crate full of coconuts I like to take them so that I don't have to denude my own island of coconuts still got one more spot there I can put something in That's pretty much it. Oh, there's one spot there too. All right. Uh, I don't really need to put stuff in there, I guess. I don't really need to take anything else. Those are being cooked. I can eat that one. Still got room for one more at least. Okay, that should do. Take one more drink of water. Make sure this is filled up. And that's pretty much all we need to do. I can just let that cook. It will use up the wood, but it'll leave those things smoked for when I come back. And actually, I have two more fish down here. I might as well throw them on the fire as well. So then I'll have a full stack of five fish available for when we come back. So that's it. We spent the day here. Let's get this back out in the water and head back home. Make sure I don't step on that purple starfish, which was somewhere off to the uh, right there somewhere. 
pretty much right under the raft where it is now. Gonna fight with the currents here a little bit. If I can get the sail up, get past these rocks. Uh, come on, nope. We sailed right under the rocks. Come on, what are you doing? What are you doing? Get off the rudder. Okay, do not step out in the water. There's a starfish somewhere right near here. Get on the rudder, let the sail, and away we go. All right, as we sail into the moon, rise. <laughs> that looks pretty cool. That's our island straight ahead between our mast and the moon. All right, we're pulling into our island. You can hear a shark again. I don't know if you guys can hear that. You can hear the bubbling under the raft when a shark swims past. Just gonna pull up onto the beach here, unload the raft, make sure that my farming plots have got water in them, make sure that I'm fed and watered. Uh, oops, we gotta put some fiber sleeves inside the water stills. Gonna get rid of all of these engine parts. Just gonna dump them over here for now. I'll have to organize all this stuff at some point, put them either into crates somewhere out of the way. Right now it's just a big mess. related things over here. Make a new stack of corrugated scrap. Or two stacks of corrugated scrap. Plants, leather, more palm fronds. out and we'll take this whole crate and put it over here with the other one where we're going to use it next to the water stills. We should probably actually stack them both right here in the middle. Just going to rearrange this slightly, see if I can get this to sit nicely. And then we can put this one right on top of it. If I can get it to sit there. Uh, a little crooked. Come on. There we go. Good. Need to fill this up again. Take one of these. Oops. <laughs> I knocked my pile of planks over. Fill these up. Just take a couple of uh, fiber sleeves to top that up. Make sure our farming plots are watered. Well, the yuccas are growing nicely. Koalas growing. Gonna drop the plants out of my inventory. I might as well put them over here between the two rows of farming plots because this is where I'm gonna need them. I'll have to build another couple of farming plots tomorrow. And let's just move all of the plants over here. Fix my pile. Maybe move it a little bit further back. Let's 
me a little bit more room. Still need food and water. It's getting late, so I'm going to sleep until the morning. I was a bit late going to bed, so it's already 7.30. That's not too bad, I guess. I could take a ration, but I don't think I want to bother. I don't think I really need to yet, so I think I'll just suffer through this. coconut and take all of these while I'm at it. Let's take this whole crate actually and put it over here. Let's put it over here to keep it out of the way. Drop off these engine parts. And because I have so many fibrous leaves right now, I'm just going to use these in the water still and then drop the rest of them over here. Oh, look at that one yucca plant has grown quite good. I don't think that's fully grown yet though, so I'm not going to harvest it yet. That one could use a bit of water. And our koala could use some water. Peepee's getting a bit low too. Still don't have any water. We'll have to wait till some more is produced. Let's chop this guy open. Get a drink of water from him. And let's uh, drop him again. Break him apart. And have a little bit to eat. Helps a little bit. I want to build myself a smoker, so I need some sticks. I'm going to chop this apart. And let's put it out here so we're not inside the cave area, uh, but we're just outside. And it won't get in the way if I decide to build something here in the front of the cave, or at the front of the cave, I guess. We need the three rocks for a fire pit. build that and we need three sticks a lashing and a cloth so there's a cloth I uh, don't have any more sticks uh, I don't want to get them out of a crate so let's just break this apart just need three and a lashing we can now build our smoker Rotate it into place. There we go. Oh, I also need uh, <laughs> kindling. Forgot about that. Get two pieces of stick there. Where'd the kindling go? It's up at the top. There we go. Take that. Thank you. All right, so we need to get some food on there at some point. Let's drop the leather here. Get these big bushy guys. Drop them. Let's get these broken apart as well. Oh, come on. <laughs> You'd think I'd learn. I did that before, and I just did it again. Oh, well. Drop these here. Okay, this one I'll do a little bit further over. Oh, I've got two. All right. We'll do both of them. These shouldn't cause any problems. Put these guys back into place.
and I think I'm going to save it here and call this an episode. We've basically got a whole bunch of stuff on our beach here that we'll have to figure out. It's only 10.25 in the morning, so when we come back in the next episode, we'll continue doing what we need to do. And I thank you very much for watching. My name is Agork. We'll catch you again in the next episode. Bye for now.